Here's one of the biggest things that people don't understand in chemistry. Keep this in mind. When a liquid boils or evaporates to become a gas, the molecules don't, they don't come apart. So let's talk a little bit about liquids, evaporation, boiling, and molecules. So here is a very tiny glass of water. Well, it's a tiny glass of water that we've zoomed in zillions and zillions of times so we can see what makes it up. And what we'd see is that this glass of water is made of all of these water molecules. One oxygen atom connected to two hydrogen atoms. That's why we call it H2O. So our glass here contains lots of molecules of liquid water. Let's now make some steam, some gas water. What we're going to do is we're going to heat up this liquid water. And as we heat it up, the molecules in it are going to start moving faster and faster and faster until some of them are moving so fast that zoom, they can jump, shoom, right out of the liquid water, enter the air above that liquid, and start flying around. Now, these guys up here are molecules of steam, also known as gas water. So here's the main point. When they're liquid water, the molecules H2O are packed really close together. When they're gas water, or steam, they're still molecules of water, one oxygen and two hydrogens. It's just that now they're not as densely packed and they're flying around in the air above the liquid. Here is the mistake that so many people make and that I don't want you to make. This, as we said, is the way that gas, that water, does evaporate. Here's the mistake that people make. Here is another glass of water. So many people think that when water molecules become gas, that they have to break apart, that the atoms that make up those molecules split apart from each other. And that's the only way that the liquid water can become gas or steam. So we have these molecules here, and ah, oh, they have to rip apart, rip these atoms apart. And so that if we were to zoom in and look at steam, we wouldn't see water molecules, but we'd see all of these pieces of the molecules, all these atoms ripped apart. This is wrong. Here's the big red X. I don't want you to make that mistake. On the other hand, here is the right way that boiling or evaporation happens. The molecules look just the same in gas as they do in liquid. They do not, big red X, they do not split apart into the atoms that make them up. Same in liquid, same in gas. Okay, now this isn't just true for water. This is true for anything, for any liquid that can evaporate or boil to become a gas. So here I have a tiny amount of gasoline. The molecules look like this. Eight carbon atoms surrounded by 18 hydrogens. And then here I have some alcohol, a carbon with a bunch of hydrogens and then an oxygen. Now, alcohol and gasoline can both evaporate. If you're like me, oh, you love the smell of gas, gasoline which is like those vapors that you get when you're filling up your car. Oh, I love it. So you know firsthand that gasoline can evaporate and become a gas. Here's the point, though. Here is the wrong way to think about evaporation. If a gasoline molecule looks like this, the wrong way to think about it is that these molecules would come apart into the pieces and into the individual atoms. And the same thing here with the alcohol. This is wrong. These molecules here have split apart into atoms and pieces of molecules. On the other hand, the right way to think about this is that both the alcohol and the gasoline molecules just nicely lift out of the liquid when they turn from liquid to gas. This is what the liquid would, like, the would look like. The molecules are all tightly packed together. And here's what the gas would look like. The same molecules, they're just floating around in the air and they're further apart. So once again, don't make that mistake. Always remember that when a liquid boils or evaporates to become a gas, the molecules don't come apart.